This underrated custom room has been updated to the latest security patch, of course, based on the latest Android version. I'm talking about Lunaris AOSP. This one is 3.3 based on Android 16, based on the latest security patch, available for few of the devices. And as I just told you at the starting of the video also, it's just one of the most underrated custom rooms out there. Simply quite interesting custom room in the terms of UI, in the terms of features, customizations. There are a lot of things available in this case, which you are definitely going to love. In my previous video, I've shared already how the things are so good. But with this new update, we have strong integrity fixed. We have some more extra features like we have performance mode and so on. And that I'm talking about strong integrity that is actually fixed by default. So that's actually quite good. Here we have all the customizations and features present here. As you can see, we have system options, spoofing, notifications, status bar, lock screen, and so on. If I move on to system options, you will notice we have this performance mode available, which might be useful in some certain cases. It might not be available for every device, but for few of the devices, it shall be available. Like in this case, the custom room, I am the device I'm testing where this custom room is. This is Mi 11X, which is also considered as Poco F3 or Redmi K40. So it's working fine here. We also have some other options, some amazing features, like we have quick switch support, which simply means we have different sort of launchers available, quick step, extra launcher and launcher. So you can switch between any one of these launchers. You do not have to root your device to install magic modules and so on. The default launcher, which is a quick step launcher is already good. It's working fine. It's good. It is having a lot of features and customizations. But with this new update, we have a similar feature like QPR update. Let me show you. If you move on to app drawer, we have two options available at the start at the top. So that is almost looking like the app drawer is now looking like in card style, which is a similar thing available with the pixel launcher with Android 16's latest QPR update based on what all the customer rooms are not updated yet because of the source code is not released. But we still have some amazing things, although it's it's just not perfect. It's not working good. But it says we just wanted to let you know, maybe with the next update, maybe with upcoming updates, it will be fixed definitely with the QPR1 update. What about some other features? For example, circle to search. It is available. It is working fine. No issues here in this case. Also, even if you use the default launcher, which is quick step launcher, it is working fine. If you use pixel launcher, it will work fine for you too. If I move on to some other options like sidebar, if you use sidebar to do multitasking in free form windows and so on, then definitely it's here and a lot of other features are available like, like sidebar customization. You can adjust the rows and columns and so on. Including that we have some other things available too. How you want to use the freeform windows in normal freeform windows. I mean that sidebar in freeform windows or AOSP mode. We have all the options available. Some other options like application downgrade, ignore windows secure flags, hiding the screen capture status. Everything is present in this case, including this. Also have the option for hiding the app list, hiding the developer status and many, many more things available in the system customization. If we move on to spoofing options, but you'll notice we have play integrity fix as you just shown at the starting of the video. Also that we have three green ticks available in this case. Some other options include the Google Play Store spoofing and Google Photos spoof, which simply means you have unlimited Google Photos backup as the option for Snapchat spoofing and Netflix spoofing also. Some Google apps will be updated to Google Pixel 10 Pro. In this case, my device has been actually spoofed to Pixel 10 Pro. So the Pixel 10 Pro apps are automatically pre-installed, automatically installed after installing this custom ROM. For example, we have this unlock sound, lock, un basically log unlock sounds available here too. So a lot of things are already present. User interface has some other options like search bar style and many, many more things. So yes, in the terms of customizations, in the terms of features, there are a lot of things which you can go and definitely going to love. This is it. These were things just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel because a lot of custom room videos are already available here. A lot of custom room videos are coming very, very soon, especially when the QPR1 update will release, QPR1 source code will release. We'll see a lot of custom rooms based on QPR1. That will be the most exciting update out there. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and I will see you in the next one for sure.